In the last episode, we started building our timeline using our audio first. However, in this one, it's finally time to start editing our video. Like I said, in the last episode, we just created our timeline using our audio and it's not fully there yet, but we're gonna fine tune everything when we have our complete timeline built. So in this episode, we're gonna focus on getting all our video out in the timeline. So here we are back inside Premiere Pro and if we take a look at our footage bin, we can see that we have all our shots from one down to 20, but they're all sort of messed up. So you can click on these three lines down here and choose sort by name. Then we can see that everything is in order from one all the way down to mailbox, which is number 20. Also, I accidentally added the voiceover in the footage bin and it's not supposed to be there. So I'm just gonna drag that and let it go inside the audio bin instead, like that. All right, as you can see, we have a duplicate of the first clip here and that's not actually a duplicate, that is our timeline. If we look at a timeline, we can see that up here, it says stairs. So this sequence is called stairs. So this black clip here is just our sequence and it's named stairs because the first thing we did, if you remember, is to drag the stairs clip into our timeline and that created the sequence. And since we didn't name it, it named itself stairs. Okay, so now it's time to drag all our clips into our timeline and to save ourselves the headache, we can go ahead and lock all the audio files so we don't accidentally put something on there. What I mean by that is if we drag a video clip in here, you can see that it contains both a video file and an audio file. But if the audio tracks were unlocked and we would drag in a clip, you can see that it's going on top of that and we don't want that, of course. So we're just going to go ahead and lock those three and we're going to drag in our first clip. Obviously, this is too big. You can see that it's way zoomed in. And that is because we're editing a 1080p timeline, but this is a 4K clip. So the clip is four times as big as the timeline. So if you remember on the U key, we added a shortcut for setting to frame size. So if we select our clip and hit U, that will scale the clip down and make it fit our timeline. And if you don't want to use the keyboard shortcut, you can just go ahead and right click and choose set to frame size. So, okay, what part of this first clip do we need? Uh, let's make the audio a bit smaller, like this. Uh, and let's just hit play and see. This is the incredible story of when I got... So here, uh, about two seconds and five frames in, we can see that, um, that the camera is sort of preparing to do the push-in. And we don't want that, of course, so we can use the keyboard shortcut Q to just cut everything down and hit play again. This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. Let's back. <clears throat> and here I want the pause to come after I picked up the gun. So we're gonna find instead a place, the place where I do that, which is about, I think this is a pretty good frame. And then we can hit E like that. And we can actually delete the rest and drag this down to our pause sign instead. So, so around there, I think. And then just drag everything out again and have a look. This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. Yeah. <clears throat> so here we're going to introduce our first pause. And to do this first, since the video is going to continue after the pause, we're gonna duplicate this clip and just move it to the side for now. So hold Alt key and drag and let go. Uh, so to make a pause or more commonly known as a freeze frame, we're going to right click. First, we're gonna move the playhead to our pause, which is there. And we're gonna right click and hit add frame hold. So what that does is it freezes everything here. My mail. Let's back up. Like that. But it doesn't freeze the audio, so we're gonna have to cut that out. Snapping activated. Just go ahead and cut these up. 
and delete. Let's back up a bit. What? Okay, so that's good. And I just remember that we don't need this part. Sorry. So we can cut the stairs clip here about one, two, three, four, five, six frames after the the whoosh sound. Just cut that off. And then we can add our second clip. And again, hit the U key to sort of set it to frame size. Like, oh, I was sitting at home awaiting a package. Then the package came. Yeah, so we can cut this about when the camera stops shaking and starts moving more smoothly. The package. Then the package came. There. Okay, hit Q. Okay. A while ago, I was sitting at home awaiting a package. Then the package came, so I went out to get it. I had been waiting for. And then we can cut that just after I passed the whole frame. Hit W. And then we have our third clip. I can drag that in. For this package forever, so I was super. And that only has one audio track because I've edited that myself and shortened it down because it was very long. So We're excited. I think maybe around where I turn my head there, hit Q. And we can pull this down. For this packet forever, so I was super excited. But then Oh, it's starting to lag. But we want the but then to come like at the same time as I'm crouching down, as I'm seeing my neighbor. So uh, just like we did on the first clip, we're gonna do this in reverse. So But then I would say here. I've seen him, so we can make a cut there, and we're excited. But yeah, here on. But then move this down, delete everything before, and just drag it out. I had been waiting for this package forever, so I was super excited. But then it was my super annoying name. Hmm. A while ago, I was sitting at home awaiting a package. Then the package came, so I went out to it. I had been waiting for this package forever. You know what? I feel like the second clip here is too long. So we're going to cut that down by hitting Q. And I think uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, about 15 frames in or at 6 seconds. We can start it. A while ago, I was sitting at home awaiting a package. Then the package came, so I went out to get it. I had been waiting for this package forever, so I was super excited. Yeah, that's better. Because we need a little bit more time of me walking here for the flow of the video. I, I, I just think it looks better. So we're going to move this down again to match it with the but then. Yeah, I think that looks good. So I was super excited. But then. I'm basically crouching down at the same time I'm saying, but then. It was my super annoying neighbor. I had to have... And we need the neighbor shot about... But then, it was my super annoying... Then, it was my super... Maybe here. Uh, at 16 frame, sec 16 seconds and 8 frames. And here again, instead of dragging the clip into the timeline, we can just select our in and out points here, like we did in the audio editing. Yeah. So again, when the when the camera is stabilized and starts moving, is usually a good point. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna drag that in. And I don't actually think we need the audio for this. So we're just gonna pull the drag video only symbol here. That. And then we don't get the audio. Okay, so the neighbor clip is zoomed in. Just hit U. Okay, so I went out to get it. I had been waiting for this package forever, so I was super excited. But then, it was my super annoying neighbor. I think it should come in a bit earlier. 
it was my... Maybe there. But then, it was my super annoying neighbor. I had... Mm -hmm. uh, and then right before, or right when I say, I had to avoid him. I had to avoid... We're gonna add clip number five. And I don't think we need audio for this either for now. Yeah. Yeah. So I think here around where my face is starting to show, hit I. And oh, drag in the video only. And hit U. Annoying neighbor. I have to avoid him at any cost. And a few frames before I say, but how? We can just duplicate the clip from stairs one, both the freeze frame and and the, the moving part. So hold alt, drag and move it over. Awesome. But how? There, you're all caught. Yeah, okay, so now it's pretty tight here. But how? There. So yeah, here we can see that we have uh, made the audio way too fast. So we can unlock these and hit A or actually move everything here, including the pause and just deselect the video clips and move this down until we're happy with where our pause should be. But how? I think this is pretty good. So we're gonna cut the music there by the freeze frame and we're gonna pull back our audio here and make sure again that the pause ends up <coughs> and pauses the music. So like that. There, you're all caught up now. Okay, so we can hear um, a click here on the on the video file. There's a little click here from I think where I'm hitting hitting the gun to my hand. Yeah, so that together with the spacebar click. It becomes like a tch -tch. so we're going to remove we're going to trim down just the audio uh, from the video file. And to do that, we if we do like this, we also trim down the video and we don't want that. So go back and right click. And here you can find something called unlink. And basically what that does is it's separating the video file from the audio file. So again, we can just select this and drag down the, take away the click basically so let's listen to it again but how there you're all caught up now yeah uh, and then I can hear now again that caught up now we're gonna add a bit more music to yes a little bit more breathing room basically so move down these four like to here maybe and drag it out again to the pause hit s to deactivate the snapping caught up now maybe that's a bit too much take it back four frames and let's look at that caught up now yeah that works it's too loud but it works for now you're all caught up now but now we're gonna add or now we're gonna use the same the same clip so it's gonna pause and unpause and since we can't 
drag this out and cut it and make it a non freeze frame we're gonna have to duplicate the first clip uh, alt and drag it up and you can also hold shift to make it not move to the side uh, but alt and shift and drag it up duplicate it so if we drag this out we know that we have our last frame uh, in the previous shot here so we can make a cut to our new clip in the exact same place click s to add snapping and then we're just gonna hit v and drag that and move it to the side there but how there you're all caught up now okay good there you're all caught up now maybe actually it's I want it to like there so we can remove four frames and take this back four frames too and trim down so it ends up at the play sound effect there you're all caught up now and obviously we have to time the sound effect to the gun being pulled back and since the gun effect is on the same track as the play effect we're just gonna pull this down uh, beneath that and make sure it matches all caught up now yeah that looks good so then we have our first slow motion clip so we're gonna go into our hitman clip here and we're gonna start it about here when the camera is starting to move back and i'm pulling up the gun so in point and then we're gonna need it to about here maybe hit o and then just drag the video out on the timeline and this is not 4k since it's 240 fps so we don't have to hit the u key nothing happens so let's look at that yeah so if you remember from the preview in the first episode of this editing part uh, we could see that there is a speed ramp here so now we're gonna learn how to speed ramp so to do that the easiest way is to first make our timeline wider and then hit you see this little fx symbol here right click and choose time remapping and speed so then we go back and we find our two spots where we want where we want the clip to sort of slow down again uh, so i think about here maybe where my arm is just below my chin and we're gonna hit p for the pen tool and we're gonna make a keyframe here by just clicking on this white line you can zoom in a little bit extra and then we get two sort of blue markers here so the first one we're just gonna drag this back a bit and we do this to get a gradual speed ramp because if we were to just make it fast and then cut and then make it slow it would be very harsh or a very hard transition and we want it to be more fast and then slow down gradually or smoother uh, so we have our markers there now we're just gonna click and hold the line here and drag this up and and since this is slowed down 10 times if we want normal speed we're gonna have to amp this up to a thousand percent so just keep holding and dragging up until you get to a thousand like that and let go and now if we look at it yeah that's a lot better so and then to get to make it even more gradual we can just click one of the lines and you can see this blue i don't know what to call it symbol appear and if you click and hold on one of these blue dots you can pull it to the side and make it even more gradual so you can see this Here's the before, 
and here is the after. So we can see that the curve is a lot smoother. Um, and then, as you remember, we added a keyboard shortcut for R, which is render entire work area. And if you had some playback issues, this helps a lot. But the first thing you can do is change your screen resolution here from full to one fourth. So if it's already set to one fourth and it's still lagging, we can set an out point on our timeline here by clicking O and then hit R. And now we can see that this line is green instead of yellow or maybe even red as it was before. Yeah, so now it's rendered and this helps the playback a lot. So we can watch the whole thing. This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. Let's back up a bit. A while ago I was sitting at home awaiting a package. Then the package came so I went out to get it. I had been waiting for this package forever so I was super excited. But then... It was my super annoying neighbor. I had to avoid him at any cost. But how? There, you're all caught up now. Okay, that's good. So let's continue with building our timeline. Um, so for the next shot of my neighbor here looking up at me, we're gonna add that to the next sort of drum hit in the song. So there, make a cut, delete, uh, double click our neighbor shot and find where he's starting to look up around there. Hit O and drag the video out. And this will not be ramped in any way. So we're just going to leave it as it is. And so then we cut that on the next hit again. And we're gonna go back to Hitman 2 or shot 8. And this is not gonna be speed ramped either. So we're just gonna choose a nice spot, maybe here. And O, and drag it out. And then we're going to cut a bit faster here. So on the next hit, there, we're going to make a cut. And then we can just drag that because we're going to need it, need it later. And then we're going back to neighbor and we're going to go up a bit where he has sort of had time to move a bit. And I think here is a good spot. I think. Yeah, hit O and drag it in on top, make it fit and then drag it down. And there on the next hit, we're gonna put the Hitman shot back again. Yeah, so here we have our pause. Um, I think we're gonna leave a little bit more space on the music. So we can just move this down about, yeah, five frames and then pull the music. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's good. So then here we're gonna need another freeze frame and you can just zoom in a bit and just right click and add frame hold like that and pull that out during the entire pause until the video plays back again yeah uh, so we can drag this along so we can just render everything when we want to here you can see more clearly that this part here that is not rendered is yellow so if i play this back this will be played back at one fourth but if i play the green part here back there you're all caught up now it will be played back at full resolution because it's rendered. So, okay, we have our freeze frame here. Okay, fine, that's not what happened. And then it's time for my super cool roll. We can just move the audio down a little bit, clicking A to move everything. And then we're gonna choose the dope ninja move shot. Uh, take away the part where I'm running. And we can start this 
just before I get into frame. So like that. And here we can use the audio. So we can drag the whole thing in. Um, but of course we don't want to put it on top of the audio track. So we're going to lock that again. And drag it in again. Okay. And we're back on 4K. So we're going to have to hit U to set it to frame size. And we can watch it. Okay, fine. That's not what happened. Maybe give a little bit extra uh, time before I'm getting into frame. Happened. Okay, so we can cut this here by hitting W and then we can bring our music back. So click the A key and drag everything back. Uh, and we want the next shot to begin at the at the hit again. I managed to. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull this back again. Okay. Uh, so then we need we can lock the audio again. So then we need number ten, the crawl, and we're gonna start this. Yeah, about when my hand gets into frame here. So tough. Okay, and we drag that in with the audio. Hit U. I managed to escape the death of conversation. Hmm, no. We don't need that much. Uh, we can actually start in the roll here. <laughs> when I'm on my head. I managed to escape the death of conversation. Yeah, that's good. Keep moving towards me. I managed to escape. Now we can hear that it's getting a bit hard to hear the voiceover, so we can just gain this down for now. Gain negative ten. I managed to escape the death of conversation and can keep moving forward. And right about here, when I say towards, Keep moving. Uh, we can make the cut, hit W, and we're going to introduce our next crawl shot. Uh, maybe around here, when I set my hand down. To right about there, when the camera is sort of stopping and I look super shocked. Hit the U. Keep moving towards my target. But then someone had thrown a banana. Okay, that's a bit too fast, so we're gonna trim down maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames. Hit the Q. Keep moving towards my target. But then, someone had thrown a banana peel. Mm, I think the timing is a bit off. Keep moving towards my target. But then, someone had thrown a banana peel. I think we're gonna move uh, just these, just these three, a bit closer to my parkour training, not 12 frames, maybe just four. Moving towards my target. But then, someone had thrown a banana peel. Yeah, I think that works for now. I managed to escape the deadly conversation and to keep moving towards my target. But then, someone had thrown a banana peel. Yeah, that works. Okay, 
So now we're gonna see where we want the banana peel shot. Damn. Someone had thrown a Someone had thrown a banana. Yeah, so right before I say banana, basically. W no 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 no. Lock this first. W uh okay so then we have number 12 banana and we don't want my foot in the shot so we're gonna start this about yeah we can try it first when the camera is starting to push in hit o and drag that out someone had thrown a banana Okay, that's too much. Uh, take away 16 frames. Ish. And here we can hear the music. If we mute this. So on the next hit there, we can add number 13 right before the focus racking. So from there, Oh, and drag it out. Hit U. Yeah, we can unmute that again. Banana peel on the ground. It seemed impossible to avoid. Thank God for my partner. I think I want it to be uh, not as much of the push in. So we're going to try and remove another 10 frames. Someone had thrown a banana peel on the ground. It seemed impossible. And it's too fast. So thankfully, I didn't shoot all these shots in 24 frames per second. I shot them in 30, which means that we can slow this down actually to 80%. So we can right click, choose speed and duration, and type in 80% and hit enter. Someone had thrown a banana peel on the ground. It seemed impossible to avoid. Yeah, let's leave it at that for now. So, on the next hit in the song, there, we can add clip number 14. When the camera is pulling in, pushing in. Yeah. Hit out and drag it out. Thank God. This is also, this is a 4K clip, but just like some of the others, I've edited out a lot of the beginning and end because it was so long. So uh, it's 1080 now. Thank God for my part of the Thank God for my part of the I think this is a little bit fast too, so we can also slow this down to 80. And I've added a keyboard shortcut for this that I forgot to mention before, but you can do that too. And that is to hold uh, control or command and R. Then I get the clip speed and duration. You can set it to whatever you want. Uh, and then we just type in 80% and hit OK. Thank God for my so here we're gonna cut again on the drop or the hit or whatever we wanna call it. Uh, Thank God for my part of the and then it's time for some speed ramping again. So we're gonna select the parkour one. And I think about from here, when I'm starting to shift and go back there, Hit I to, yeah, maybe here. Oh, and drag it out. And here we just want a few frames speed ramped. So uh, I think we're gonna start it a bit earlier actually. So right before I turn, 
to about when I've gone back, when I have turned here. You can make it wider, right click in the effects, choose time remapping and speed. And then we click P for our pen tool and we can click out our keyframe and then just drag back one of these and pull this up to a thousand percent like that and let's just look at that uh, that's not fast enough so we're gonna pull this up to 2000 see how that looks hmm, better uh, and then just make it more smooth Mm, I think that's pretty good actually. We might fine tune it a bit later. And then before the next shot, which will come on the base hit, we're gonna add a bit of speed ramping up again, but we're just gonna see where that is. Yeah, so somewhere around here. So hit P, make a new point and drag these blue folds out a bit and pull it up to let's try a thousand first oops see this looks super shaky when it's played back that's because this isn't rendered so we can just create an endpoint here in our timeline by hitting i and click render Yeah, better. Uh, okay, so then we have our next shot, which is 16, parkour two. And this, I think we can start this just before my feet crosses here. And then maybe, yeah, to right before I jump. Hit O and drag it out. Mm, right click in the effects square, time remapping and speed. And I think we want to ramp this to right before my gravel slide here. So P, drag one of them out and take this up to a thousand let's try it let's try that yeah again render it mm, i feel like it's close but it's not fast enough so let's try 1500 on both of these uh, there and just pull this out and move so that the speed ramp doesn't start like uh, so between the cuts it goes like a pyramid like this and again render yeah that's a lot better so now we're gonna add the first shot again but add our next cut so around there, cut that out and let's go back to number 15 and we're going to have this super cool roll and we can start it, yeah, about here when I'm facing, when I'm not facing the camera. To maybe there, something like that and drag it out <clears throat> and here we're gonna do the same thing as we did here we're gonna just make a speed ramp up on the other clip before so we can move that to the side for now pull this out a bit and hit p drag it out and pull this up to 1500 oops mm -hmm. 
And then the same thing here, we're gonna speed ramp this to, to about here, right when it looks like I'm gonna explode. Uh, right click in the square, time remapping, speed, hit the P and make a point. Uh, let's try 1500 here too. And render looks good and then we're just gonna ramp this up before we add the next clip uh, so pull this up to 1500 and just drag these points out Uh, okay, and then we've forgotten to make these gradual, so we're just gonna do that. Okay, all is good. And then let's just make a cut on top there. And then let's pull in number 17. And this can start right when I'm about to jump here. God damn my face. Two, maybe there. It's a bit poorly framed, but again, it was super cold. It was raining, it was windy, and it was getting dark. So it is what it is. Okay. Uh, so we can hear now that the pause is too early again, so we can just move that to the side for now. Lock them up. And make a ramp. So right click, speed, P, drag out some points, and let's try 1500. Just gonna pull out the music here. Okay, so I want the pause to be here. Uh, so we're gonna have to make this a bit longer. Maybe there. And actually maybe just cut it a bit shorter. So somewhere around here, I'm gonna break the music and add the pause and we're gonna render and see how that looks. Okay, fine, that's not mm, gonna happen. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, also, it feels like the timing is a bit off on the cuts. So we're gonna move these down a little bit. and render okay yeah that's good so let's add a freeze frame here uh, on the pause right click add frame hold and just drag it out till the end of the pause okay fine that's not what happened either good 
Uh, and then we have our next awkward shot, which is number 18. So we can start this right, right about before I enter the frame. And about to there. And drag it out. And here we want the audio. And now I forgot to lock the goddamn audio files again. Happen either. I would happen either. And here before the clip ends, we want the music to start again. So A key and drag everything in. I have Maybe a bit earlier. Okay, good. So then we have number 19, our slow-mo walk. And we're gonna start this about here, when I look back. Yeah, we don't need much of this. Oh, drag it out. And here, this is not gonna be a speed ramp. The full shot is gonna be in slow motion, <clears throat> so. I'm hitting Command or Control R if you've set that up. Otherwise, just right click and choose Speed and Duration. And this is shot at 120 frames per second. So on a 24 FPS timeline, we can slow this down to 20%. I had successfully avoided certain death again and managed to breach my mailbox. Mm. I think we're gonna start it a bit later when my eyes is more fixed on the mailbox. I had successfully avoided certain death again and managed to just breach. Yeah, somewhere around there. Uh, remove it. You know what? Let's make it a bit longer. I had successfully avoided certain death again and managed to breach my mailbox. Yeah. Okay, so then we have our last and final shot, the mailbox. So I think we're gonna start this at around here, maybe. After I passed, or after the camera has passed this red pole. Uh, yeah, hit I. Control or Command R and hit the 20%. So now it's all about just timing the last shot and see to make sure that I close the mailbox and start running right before the drop. But then, turns out it wasn't mail, it was a goddamn bomb. Okay, so we're a bit too early. We are going to speed ramp the end there, but let's just try to remove 16 frames or something. It was a goddamn bomb. Yeah, I think that's a good place. So right click in the effect square, choose speed, hit P. Bomb. And there where the music sort of makes a little pause. Bomb. There, we're gonna add our key, drag it out and pull this back to, now we want this to be real speed again. And since this is slowed down 20%, we're gonna pull it up to 500 to make it normal speed again. There. Maybe start it a bit earlier. Was 
goddamn ball. Yeah, around there. So, and then we of course wanted to stop at the hit because that's when the when the sort of credits where the background comes in. And then maybe we will fine tune that, but for now that's good. Uh, so we can render everything and look at it. This is the incredible story of when I got my mail. Let's back up a bit. A while ago I was sitting at home awaiting a package. Then the package came, so I went out to get it. I had been waiting for this package forever, so I was super excited. But then... It was my super annoying neighbor. I had to avoid him at any cost. But how? There, you're all caught up now. Okay, fine, that's not what happened. I managed to escape the deadly conversation and to keep moving towards my target. But then, someone had thrown a banana peel on the ground. It seemed impossible to avoid. Thank God for my part for training. Okay, fine, that's not what happened either. I had successfully avoided certain death again and managed to breach my mailbox. But then... Turns out it wasn't mail. It was a goddamn bomb. Okay, uh, I think that this is good. There are a few things that I saw that we can change right away. And the first thing is this banana shot. Someone had thrown a banana peel. Impossible. I think we're gonna make the push in a bit shorter so let's remove about four frames and pull that out yeah like that and then I saw on the speed ramp this sort of spin is a bit too fast so I think uh, we're gonna make that a bit slower. So we lift that up just because when we do this, uh, it gets longer and then it would be disappearing behind this one. So then we have to pull that back a bit and let's look at that. That's better. And the same actually for the jump here. I think we can make that a bit shorter and a bit slower. Just the ramp in the beginning here. So I'm gonna pull that back to 1200 like that. And I'm gonna cut one frame out. better okay fine that's not what happened and now the freeze frame is still in the same place which is nice but if it's not for you you can just delete it drag this out and make a new frame hold on the pause okay fine that's not what happened either and then I saw here that I would like to make this shot a bit longer so we're just gonna hit a and move everything down like yeah let's try six frames I had success. Mm -hmm. and then I saw that the mailbox cut here is a bit weird Again, I managed to reach my mailbox. let's try it on the next hit or the next beat I managed to reach my mailbox. yeah but let's leave it at that okay Render everything, everything is good, everything looks nice. This. 
Okay, so now the timeline is done. This is what we would call a rough cut. So now we have to fine tune everything. We're gonna color grade it. We're gonna add our last effects. We're gonna make the audio sound more balanced and more rich. So as you can hear, we have a lot more to go, but we're not gonna make these episodes too long. So we're gonna cut this short for now and I hope to see you in the next one.